Hello ladies and gentlemen and as always thank you for watching. Uh, today it's uh, Sunday afternoon and I'm going to go meet Rodney and Lynn. Uh, for those of you who've watched, who participated, uh, there was a GoFundMe account for my cousin Rodney who's, uh, whose house burnt and they lost their three pups and uh, viewers got together and wanted me to open up a GoFundMe account and oh my goodness, uh, just it was amazing what it has done so far. Uh, anyway, today Rodney has asked me to close the account. You know, he's, he's more than grateful for, uh, for everything and the, the money that came in just far surpassed anything that any of us ever thought possible. Uh, you know, my personal belief is God at work. And uh, anyway, we're going to go go present them with the final check and uh, maybe get a little bit of update as, as to where they are in their lives right now and see how things are going. Uh, here we go. What's up, buddy? Do what? No, I I use that rollback as a my personal vehicle when we're on call. Gotcha. Look, man, if you all if y'all don't want to do a video of this time, then it, it's, it's entirely up to you. It doesn't matter to me. It's however you want to do it. I it really doesn't matter. I, I think the people would love to see you guys again. You know, yeah. just to have an update yep. as That's to what what's going on. Uh, because people are asking me all the time, you know, how you guys are doing, and yep. of course I'm. Ugh, stop yawning, dude. <laughs> no, I've been, me too. We've been at the house. I got done eating. Got done eating. Put myself in food coma. I've been in there napping in the chair while she was getting ready, and then finally she just woke me up. She's like, "You ready to go?" And I'm like, "Huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's go." <laughs> I know it's still out here. Oh yeah, yeah. That that smell will be there forever. Yep. Until they wipe it out. Yeah. What well, I uh, come by and check on it about once a week, once every other week, something like that. Just kind of come by and check, make sure nobody. Do what? You guys need to move the car? No, no, you're, you're fine. good. You're fine. We're doing all right. Working on working on trying to get this taken care of. That's about it. Yeah. Got a, got a new house we're working on trying to get. We're in negotiations on and waiting on the demolition crew to get done doing what they're doing so they can get this taken care of. So, <laughs> aside from that, nothing to complain about. <laughs> yep, thank you. I haven't been back. Oh, yeah, I, just, I check on about I check on about every, about once a week, once every other week I come by and do a walk around, make sure nobody's knocked away. Is there the actually mail in there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. The census. Looks like the census report. Yeah. <laughs> for a condemned house. Okay. Wow. Well, I've I've been in. I, I, we don't need to go back in because I've okay. I've been in once. Yeah, you don't want to go in there right now. I went in there. When was it? I come over here and. Put some uh, extra set of darts and got that grand board out of here. I don't know. It's been a couple weeks now, and there was the whole kitchen floor was just like covered in a white mold buzz. Ooh, yuck. yeah, yeah. I come in, went right to where I knew where I needed, to, where what I was looking for. I knew exactly where it was. Went straight to there and straight back out. I'm like, I'm not stirring that up. No. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. Crazy. So what? Uh, Okay. That's all right. So what? Uh, what's been going on with you guys? I know uh, the viewers want to know what's what's going on. I yeah. Basically, uh, we're just waiting. The, we've already got the crew picked out. It's going to be doing the demolition. Um, they've got a couple other jobs they're doing here in town. Once they're done with those, we're in line. I think you had two more demos for the city to do, and then we were going to be out after that. Which the the first round, the first check that we got for the 
first part of it mm -hmm. pretty much covered the demolition, didn't it? Yes. Yeah. 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 That's what I thought you'd say. Yeah. So. And then, uh, other than that, we've been in negotiations on a house. Um, we got everything's kind of under contingent contract. They just got to finish a few things around there, and as long as everything goes according to plan with what they're finishing, then we will officially be under contract on that and, and purchasing a new home. So that's, that's excellent. That's yeah. excellent. Can't wait to get out of the rental duplex. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice it just, place. It just kinda, not home. <laughs> it just yeah, it just feels weird to because like we haven't settled into it at all because right. we know it's only temporary. So in our insurance company they actually had somebody like we're basically renting everything that's in there like yep. the couch the Furniture, silverware everything. the plates right none the, of it's yours none of it's ours right the yeah. only thing right. the only stuff that's in that house that is ours is the groceries and the clothing yeah <laughs> aside from that it all everything belongs to a rental company or you know it's a rental property so so it, that's been really weird to just it almost feels like you're living in somebody else's You can't house. get can't get comfortable with using anything. somebody else's <laughs> stuff. It's kind, it's yeah. just a weird feeling to explain. It's like if you go stay with a relative for a long time, kind yeah. of, but you don't bring any of your own stuff. <laughs> yeah. But the, really there is an end in sight, though. Oh yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. And the insurance company is doing what they're supposed to now on everything. So for the most, for the part, most yeah. part, we've had a, we've had a few little tussles here and there with things that they've said that they initially said they'd pay for and then I then I get a bill for it and I come back and go who's going to take care of this and they go oh that's your responsibility we've already paid out so yeah. I mean but it's not it's not been anything that's been made so but yeah other than that they've been smooth as smooth as silk taking care of us Good. so yeah the only major thing really was that since we weren't married yet your none stuff, of my yeah. stuff got covered through oh, the insurance yeah Okay. Yeah. Yep. So when we sent in our um, contents list and they like, you know, you make a budget for your right. contents right. and right. what you owe or what they owe you for all the stuff that was in your house, anything that was mine, they cut off and said, or anything we can't that cover that. They thought would be long, would have belonged to her. Yeah. They said not to come back to the zeros. Yeah. We're not covering. Okay. So, so that's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. 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 Um, so all of the like house stuff, like kitchen stuff, living room stuff, that all gets covered. But like my clothing, um, shoes, hair stuff, makeup, anything that was like feminine at all, mm -hmm. they removed from the contents list and just said, which I mean, it makes sense and I get it. It just, we weren't Essentially they come that. back and said that since we weren't married that she would have had to get like a renter's insurance, so yeah. to speak, or something like that, some yeah. sort of rider to go with it and so, cover her stuff. Lesson learned. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're, from what I understand, you all are working on that though. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> In progress. Yep. They Which... are officially engaged. <laughs> yeah. So. February 28th. Yeah. We had uh, got engaged. So. And from there, once this is all said and done, then we'll start worrying about planning the wedding. There you go. There you go. I yeah, don't know right. if I have the energy for that. <laughs> well, I mean, this is a lot to lot to deal with on its own, and then yeah. now we're dealing with the pandemic, and you know. It, oh yeah. Yeah, know, that it, was another I'm concern. We were like, are like, is the realtor's office going to close? Are banks still going to be able to do loans and stuff like that? But it sounds like they've pretty much left banks alone as like. Yeah essentials during and unfortunately i i was on the ball prior to all this coming about coming about and got pre-approved and all that yeah. for mortgage so we already had a lot of stuff yeah going so that kind of that also kind of helped out with once the stock market started taking a hit and the interest rates started going up yeah. i I'm locked in at a, at a lower interest That's rate good. instead of That's having good. to deal with these four and five percent interest rates everybody's having to deal with now. So, super excited about the house though. Yes, <laughs> That's great. Yes. It's been like don't don't say on camera where it's at. Just yeah. no, it's <laughs> it's been a, kind of like it, that's always been our dream is to just have the house that we want that we can stay for a very long time. Well, and and that's where. You know, LaDonna and I have been talking about this and our 
church was actually online today instead of in person because of the mm-hmm. pandemic. And it's it's strange how things work because you know through this devastation things are happening that might not otherwise have been possible for you guys. Correct. Yes. You know, yeah. and, Correct. and good can come out of tragedy. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> that would be my son, I'm sure, because he's the one who tried to call me a while ago. Yeah. Anyway, it's all good. But yeah, good can come out of tragedy. And, yeah. And and we're seeing it even with the pandemic. You know, people coming together, mm-hmm. communities coming together, churches coming together. Um, like the schools, you know, they're delivering food to the kids mm-hmm. Who's, yeah. who wouldn't otherwise get it. Uh, like in Scott City, where where we live. You know, they're on 40% of the community is uh, free and reduced lunches. Mm -hmm. It's a poor community. So the school's picking it up and and, and providing meals for the the kids. Yeah. Stuff like that where where people are coming together and should be doing that anyway. But it's people stepping up and doing what they should. Right. It almost feels... um, it almost makes you feel guilty for being happy or excited about anything because of the way that it's happening. And yeah. we always do that. Mm-hmm. We always say, like, anytime we have a conversation with each other, like, oh, we're excited. Like, you know, this could be a really great thing for us. And this is the house we want. Um, yeah, don't, don't feel guilty. Well, we're, yeah. we're always, like, we always make the mental disclaimer of, but we wish it would have happened a different way. Yeah. Of course. So it's it's been that's been a really weird balance too. Is just to feel happy about finally getting like a house that we love, potentially, hopefully, please. <laughs> but yeah. um, the way it happened a, is not ideal. A house that's set up the way we were trying to do it this one prior to that. Yeah. Time, so. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. I mean, and that's that's the craziest part about it is, is the one we found that we've been looking at the entire everything inside of the color scheme everything's exactly the same as what we were doing with this yeah. really we're doing our remote mm-hmm. i mean same colors wall colors i'm mean, everything <laughs> it was really just weird. so wild because uh looking we we've been looking 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 and just wasn't finding anything and it's one house we just walked into and they this absolute truth when they say when you walk into it and you know you know, yeah. you know. Yeah. and we yeah. and both of us walked through the doors of that house and we were just like Oh my this God! Is this is it. Yep. This this is the one we want. I almost <laughs> cried. Like I got teary eyed, and I was like, "This is ridiculous." Yeah. <laughs> and then everything, like I said, everything since then has just slowly been, slowly been falling into place with it. So, then anytime we've come across an issue through an inspection or anything like that, the seller's been great mm-hmm. and, at, at looking at it and going, "We will take care of it." Yeah. You know? It and hasn't been no, now nah, we're not going to do it. Kind of stuff, you know. Yeah, it so. seems to be like everybody involved has just been good people, mm-hmm. and I think that we've noticed that more than anything is most people are good people when it comes down to it. They don't, nobody has bad intentions about anything that we've come across in right. this situation. But it's really eye-opening to just see how good people are. Well, mm-hmm. since since the the first check, I mean, you guys, it, it's no longer. Uh, a secret so you guys have been keeping up with it and you right. know the things that people have been doing and and you know the the gifts that people have been sending and then of course the obviously the, the monetary side of it the yeah. first one was over s- almost eight thousand or seventy five hundred yeah, this, so one's over, this one's over seventeen thousand you know what oh, you didn't, you I didn't know, know I mean I kind of knew but I was like yeah, no, I, don't, no. I didn't know what kind of percentage or anything like that that, that GoFundMe takes. GoFundMe takes out some. Yeah. They don't take out a lot. I wasn't expecting. I, I wasn't expecting. That's about two thousand dollars more than I was expecting. I, I, I don't. <laughs> and I don't begrudge GoFundMe for taking it because no, absolutely they, not. they provide a platform yeah. for Correct. people to be able to do this. Absolutely. And, and that, that's. And they've helped thousands and thousands of people through that program. Yeah. And in doing the, so. the percentage that they take is small compared. Yeah. To, and, yeah. And, you know that that check there is a little over seventeen. So between the two, you know, it's over 24 mm-hmm. uh, just under 25 I think, yeah, I, say, I think the total on there before their percentage was like 25 yeah 20, it was, it was like over 25,000 yeah. before their percentage yeah. which is mind-boggling That's crazy. absolutely and, and and the bulk of that came in after the second video yeah within a first week after that second yeah. video you know when when we presented me and yeah. your mom and dad came to the hotel yeah and, and you know the people got to see you guys getting the check and then just 
you know, the, the emotion, the raw emotion, yeah. and it's just, they understand it is real, and people are good, like you said, people mm-hmm. are good at heart. I mean, yeah. Just, uh, we just came to, I don't know. Oh, what? I think I was messaging her on Facebook. Okay, yeah, okay. okay you you, did you get know what that is. <laughs> okay, yes. all right, you're, you're You did good. get in touch with her? Yes. Okay, yeah. good deal. Yeah. All right, you're good. We were worried because by the time that all come down, she wasn't getting notifications for some reason off of it, I guess because she wasn't a part of that. Okay. And all right. when she finally was able to join it, it was, it was already, it was already over. over with. And yeah. I was like, oh, I hope, I hope he was able to get in touch with somebody on it. Yeah, so. for, yeah. for the people that don't know, there's there's been all kinds of stuff. There's been uh, people who've done quilting. They've done mm-hmm. Tupperware parties. They've done, you just, you name it, they've, they've done it to try to help this, this couple out. And it's, it's just been... It's been amazing. It's, it has. It has. Yeah. The amount of help from everyone has just been crazy it's and and words can't describe the amount of appreciation we have for everyone who's been involved in it yeah we really do appreciate everything everybody's done it's not what we expected to happen right at all <laughs> we, we was expecting uh we was expecting a large struggle mm-hmm. and, and an uphill battle on and every and through everybody who's helped it's just been made it's it's made everything just so easy and 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 calm and Taking all ninety yeah. percent of the stress out of everything. Not having yeah. to worry about clothing. Like, can we afford to buy clothes? Can right. we afford to restock our fridge? And yeah. just taking that burden off people makes such a huge difference. Yeah. And at the same time, on several occasions, um, we've been well enough throughout the process that we've been able to pay it forward to some people as well. So we've nice. had, I've had a couple things on GoFundMe of of instances that I've seen where people were in need similar and I've donated forward as well since. So that's very good. inspiring. Yeah. That's great, yeah. I won't keep up any of your more time. I know we've it. got to get to Walmart before it closes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are on <laughs> our, get our last lunch quarter lunch roll stuff. of toilet paper. So good luck with that. Pray that, for us. That, that, <laughs> that is that is the hard thing to find right now. And yeah. I, yeah. I was lucky enough, of course I wasn't able to get any for myself. I was able to get they had just unloaded and you were allowed one package and yeah. my mother-in-law needed it so mm. she needed it worse than we did so mm. i got it for her and, and uh, anyway so i got it i'm gonna have to go follow you guys over there and see if i can get some toilet paper <laughs> yeah. for myself too because we need it it hit us like we before even anything with this going on people started freaking out started buying it it was actually our weekend to go grocery shopping and buy toilet paper paper towels just right, our right, household right. stuff we kind of buy enough to get us through for a few weeks at a time and then this all happened and i'm like Oh my God, we've got like two and a half rolls of toilet paper in the house <laughs> yeah. and no paper towels. We've, we've got to go get something. <laughs> and we really need it. it, yeah. it, it and you can't get it. It's, it's hard. Yeah. yeah. Luckily, we had like a stash of like fast food napkins. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of helped in the kitchen. Yeah. It's, it's strange what you will resort to when you have mm-hmm. to. But yeah. We yes. won't go there anyway. Yeah. Anyways, um, guys, I just, it, it's been such a blessing for me to have been a part of this. Yeah. And, and we're still here. Yeah. We're, we're family. Absolutely. You know, if you need something, we really do appreciate yeah. it. it w- none of this would have happened if it wasn't. If it wasn't for you, for you and, and Madonna, no, 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 and no, no, I can't take credit for any of this. Just like I told you before, I was just following where God led. This is right. I had the the viewers wanted this, and I, I just felt like you know I was being used yeah. for for His purpose, and that's that's where it is. Yeah. It's amazing. So, absolutely. We appreciate it. It's uh. It's been a wild ride, but a, a a very appreciative one. I guess is the way to put it. Yep. You know? Yeah. Or in a way, grateful for the experience. Very, very humbling. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. definitely. Very humbling. Yeah. All right. Now let's go get that toilet paper. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank all good. You. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I I don't really know what else to say um this has been uh, an honor and a blessing to have been a part of uh as you can see they're doing quite well uh we talked about uh you know good coming out of uh, disaster uh good coming out of difficult times and uh, you know right now our, our whole world uh is dealing with this pandemic and uh, i've seen a lot of good already come out of this and uh, people now's the time to let your light shine and uh, be a light in this darkness that uh, 
that we've become accustomed to. And uh, like Rodney said, pay it forward uh, every chance you get. Um, I, as always, thank you. I, I, I cannot again express our gratitude and uh, just the astonishment at, at how well my viewers have uh, treated my family and, and us and we're just we're blessed and honored and grateful and thank you. Thank you for watching and God bless.